the league made an announcement yesterday. Let's get into it. They decided to not play the Bengals and the Bills game at all. Mark Schlereth said yesterday when he was on this program, three-time Super Bowl champion, I don't want to play that thing. And I don't want that game played. Just a mat. Could you imagine, okay, if they decided to replay that and just say, okay, you Bengals, you Bills, you get out there and start the game from the spot. Line of scrimmage is the spot oh, where stop, DeMar Hamlin stop, dropped. Stop, I mean, seriously. Stop. No, I, I wanted to say these words out loud. It's important, I think, for me to say these words out loud yeah. for anybody who's out there. And there's a lot of them on my Twitter feed saying, why can't these guys play? Ugh. Oh, I've seen it too. You know? I haven't because, you know, Twitter. Let's you know. spot the ball <laughs> right where DeMar Hamlin was resus- res- resuscitated. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, come on. No. I mean, seriously, smack yourself if you're thinking that. So the the NFL also yeah. gave three reasons, three bullet point reasons outside of that obvious one as to why they didn't want to replay the game or decided not to. And they pointed out that not playing Buffalo-Cincinnati to its conclusion will have no effect on which clubs qualify for the postseason. It does not, like, somebody doesn't need for that game to have been played in order for their club to make the postseason. And no club would qualify for the postseason and no club would be eliminated based on the outcome of the game. That's true. Cool. The other point that they made is that it would require positioning the start of the playoffs for one week in the future, repositioning, postponing it for a week, thereby affecting all 14 clubs. So not playing it affects no club's ability to make it or, or not. And that includes Buffalo and Cincinnati. And postponing it a week would affect all 14 clubs making the playoffs. And they wanted to make sure that they made this decision now. That was their third bullet point because it's consistent with letting everybody know before the final week of the season what to do and who needs to do what to get in. Makes sense. So now what does it mean to cancel this game? Plain and simple. The Bengals clinched the AFC North. The Ravens can't win the division. And the Bengals, however, can't get the one seed and a first round bye. Only Kansas City and Buffalo can do that now. Ooh. The Chiefs clinch the one seed if they win in Vegas in the first game of week 18. It's the first game of the ESPN doubleheader starting tomorrow. And if they lose that, um, Buffalo and New England is a crucial game. Buffalo would clinch the one seed if they then win against New England if Kansas City loses at Vegas. But if they lose that game, then Kansas City gets it regardless of winning or losing on on Saturday. Okay. So the Chiefs now have the winning in position. The Bills did prior to Monday Night Football, as we know. If they had won out, they would have gone through because they beat the Chiefs earlier this season in Kansas City. The Bengals have a shot at the two seed if they beat Baltimore and then Buffalo loses to New England. Otherwise, they're the three seed. That's it. That's the impact of canceling Buffalo and Cincinnati with one another. Now then, let's take it one at a time here about what it would mean if uh, for the AFC North. Let's do that. So the bottom line is, if the Bengals beat the Ravens on Sunday, they, win the, uh, the, they, they would be able to host a playoff game against the Ravens if it is three versus six. And it's entirely possible that the Bengals stay at three, and that the Ravens wind up at six. As a matter of fact, if you look at all the AFC seeding possibilities as to who's five or six, 25% chance that the Ravens finish fifth, 75% chance that the Chargers finish fifth. So it's most likely, yeah, it could be three versus six. So if Baltimore wins this game, it would have clinched the AFC North for them, okay? Potentially had had the uh, Steelers not beaten them. But if the Ravens win this football game, they will have swept the season series from the Cincinnati Bengals and thus would have gotten the right to have hosted a playoff game against the Bengals. But now they can't because the division's gone. So if the Ravens win this game against the Bengals, 
they will decide who hosts three versus six via coin flip. This is mind blowing. This is the stuff that they've come up with. By the way, the competition committee and the commissioner came up with this together, and the owners are having a special meeting today to vote on it. And I proffer to say, if the competition committee and the commissioner say this is what we're going to do, the owners will just rubber stamp it. I mean, coin flips are not unprecedented. So what? What else could you do? If Baltimore defeats Cincinnati, it Good will point. have defeated Cincinnati twice but not able to host a playoff game because Cincinnati has the higher winning percentage. So if Baltimore defeats Cincinnati and if those two clubs are scheduled to play a wild card game against one another, the site will be decided by a coin toss. If Cincinnati wins the Week 18 game or if Baltimore and Cincinnati are not scheduled to play one another in a wild card round, then everybody, the game sites are as you would normally decide it for anybody. And after all that, are you glad you're not on the competition committee? Or no, do you still I want, want to be in. I want in. I want in. I want in. You want in more now? I want in. I want in, especially since there's still more to be decided. We got to make You'll this happen. You'll hear that in a Chris. second. What about the AFC championship game? What where, about it, Rich? Where's that going to be played? Again, if Buffalo had won out, they would have had the one seed in the bye week and, every, and everyone would have to go to Buffalo. Okay? If Cincinnati had won that Monday night game, and Kansas City losing on Saturday to the Raiders. Guess who would have been the one seed? Cincinnati, Cincinnati would have been the one seed. Now, Cincinnati has no shot at the one seed as it currently stands and will be. So what about the AFC Championship game and where is it played? Well, there's three scenarios for that. Scenario one, Buffalo and Kansas City both win or tie this weekend. That would mean... If Buffalo and Kansas City wind up playing each other in the AFC Championship game, neutral site. Number two, Buffalo and Kansas City both lose this weekend and Baltimore wins or ties. A Buffalo versus Kansas City Championship game would still be at a neutral site. Okay? Okay. In scenario number three, Buffalo and Kansas City both lose and Cincinnati wins this weekend then Buffalo or Cincinnati versus Kansas City would be at a neutral site. So the bottom line is Kansas City might play an AFC championship game at a neutral site. The only way it does not play a championship game at a neutral site is if it's against the Jaguars, Titans, Chargers, Ravens, or anybody else who finishes seventh. Or Titans. So the AFC championship game is going to be at a neutral site. It sure looks like that way. Yes, sir. (laughs) Like we've been talking about all year long, it's like, who's going to be? Kansas City versus Buffalo. Kansas City versus Cincinnati or Cincinnati versus Buffalo. There we go, yo. So what's the scenario? The AFC Championship game's a de facto Super Bowl anyway, so let's have it at a neutral site. How about this? Cincinnati versus (laughs) Buffalo, it looks like, would not be played at a neutral site. So anything involving Kansas City is neutral Going to be a neutral site, yeah. And we don't know the neutral site yet. And it looks like Buffalo and Kansas City, if that's the way it goes... If they play in an AFC championship game, this weekend's games are crucial in in deciding will that be at Buffalo or Cincinnati. And they all they all came in there and decided like it's not fair for everyone, but this is the most fair that we could figure out for everyone, and that's it. Great. Let's rock and roll. So once again, Cincinnati can't be the one seed, but Baltimore can't win the division. So Cincinnati wins the division. However, if Baltimore beats Cincinnati this weekend, that'll give them two wins against Cincinnati. <laughs> and <laughs> I feel like I'm back in algebra They'll class. decide by coin flip, is it at the bank or is it at Paycor? <laughs> and then the one seed is either Kansas City's or the Bills. Kansas City wins Saturday. It's over. Which, by the way, do the Bills then play everybody against New England, and I say, based on the circumstances of this past week, they will play, Yeah, I think and so. they'll play for DeMar, and then on top of it, it is important to be the two seed. Yeah. Because you don't want to have to go back to Cincinnati for many reasons. True that. Right? Yeah. And with the exception of visiting their comrade in the hospital. Clearly. And then, then we just decide where's the neutral site. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.